today I have a lot of beautiful clothing we got from our last trip to the thrift store and these are gonna be our Halloween collection, our fall slash winter collection and some stuff that I got just for myself because a girl likes thrifting and you can never have enough thrift of clothing even though you live in a studio apartment and your house literally cannot house any more clothing. So the first item is actually this red cardigan that I'm wearing right now. In Korea people have longer torso so most cardigans are kind of like long and I have quite a small waist so they never look good on me. But I was thrifting and I found this unique little cardigan kind of like stops at my, at my waist. So that really, really works. Um, but because I couldn't decide whether I wanted this Uniqlo cardigan or this dark academia one, I decided to get both. <laughs> so basically the Uniqlo one is just very comfortable, very well made. Uniqlo clothes tend to be very expensive when you buy them from the store, but this was an okay price in comparison. And this one here is from a Japanese brand called Fint. And what I love about it is that the logo here, it spells Fint, but it also is the shape of a lamb. And the buttons are custom made, so they all have the logo. Moving on, there's something I really, really want to keep. I don't want to sell this, I just want to keep it for myself. It's this Japanese long, I would say, like, like light uh, brown slash light khaki color with shoulder pads now i know that some of you may be like oh shoulder pads that is so old but no shoulder pads are amazing they give structure to your shoulders really really nicely this has so many nice details it has an extra button inside of the collar this really special really original round collar it has this triangle cut down the back that looks amazing especially because this is an oversized jacket so you want it to flow you want it to move with your body you don't want it to be stiff because then you just look like a big balloon with this type of cut it really ensures that your body moves with it that your or your jacket moves with your body rather the next item we have is this maxi leopard print velvet skirt that has yes a thick waistband if you have any type of curve and you have ever worn a skirt that has a thin waistband you'll know that they just crave into your skin and they make you have a muffin top and all these bumps and, and, and lumps and you end up looking like that one princess in Adventure Time but with thicker waistbands because they're thicker and they support your body better they are way more flattering please never ever again buy a skirt with a thin waistband if you have any sort of hourglass shape or plus sizeness because they're not flattering they're just not flattering next up we have another one of my favorites i actually found this myself it's a toyota racing development jacket um and it has a lot of super nice details belker than the front as well as the zipper so many pockets it's insane there's two front pockets and then this little thing here is actually a pocket on both sides and pockets on the arms so this is a really like cool trendy super warm super cozy urban style sports style type of jacket and though i normally tend to wear more like girly clothing i really really love the way this looks you know you get up at night and you have to go to the store you throw this on and you're good to go has the logo on the back, super cute, love it. And speaking of sportswear, I couldn't resist myself and I had to keep this for myself. <laughs> In my mind, this was a aviation, not an aviation, but a I'm jumping off a plane in 15 minutes type of outfit. But it turns out it's actually a skiing outfit. That didn't stop me from buying it though. I love how iridescent the clothes are. I love the contrast of the bright pink with the blue and the yellow. I gotta say one of my friends told me that I look like a minion wearing it. So I am kind of reconsidering whether I should wear it with this yellow shirt or not. But I absolutely love it. I think it's super cool. 
In Seoul, we have an area called Hongdae, and Hongdae is kind of like the more street style area and this would be just absolutely perfect for a night out in Hongdae. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I love the small little details that it has like the clasp to remove the straps. I love it. I think it's super cute, super original. And while some people may think that wearing ski clothing throughout a night is kind of weird, I think it's amazing, innovative and super 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 special and I cannot wait until it gets a little bit colder just so I can wear this. Next up we have this purple velvet almost iridescent skirt that has a mermaid shape, comes out at the end and has some pleats with some lace detail that I think looks super cute. To me this just screams Depop. To me this screams Y2K. It's totally on trend. I like that most Y2K items tend to be on the smaller size range and this actually fits me which means it will fit probably an XL to XXL size. So yeah, I really love it. I think it's super cute and it will be listed in our store. Next thing we have that will also be listed in our store is this cream custard yellow knit that has heart and ribbon details all over it. To me this is very cottage core, very ghibli for some reason. It's, you know, that type of warm, cute type of thing that makes you feel fuzzy and warm inside and very, very cute. Um, I like the sleeve shape a lot, this type of balloon sleeve, they're very flattering. The fit is sort of short, which is great if you have curves. I gotta say though, this is actually really high quality fabric. It's 40% wool, which means that for people with more sensitive skin, it could be a little bit itchy. In which case, my recommendation is wear it with something underneath. I am the type of person that finds clothing made out of wool itchy, but I like how it's a high quality fabric. So I would just wear this with something underneath, like a cotton shirt. And at the same time, that would be a smart move just to make sure that there is no see-throughness because this is a really light cream yellow. And as we know, if you're wearing a dark bra, maybe it could shine through a little bit. So anyways, probably a cotton tee underneath is best. The next item we got is also super cute. It's this pastel lilac dress. It's sort of like a princess dress, I like to call it because of this big puffy sleeves. It really reminds me of the dress that, what's her name? Oh my God, Tangled, the girl in Tangled, wears Rapunzel. <laughs> and it's just, it's a very nice, super, super soft knit. It's really, really soft, like really soft. Um, on the neckline, it has a bit of a decolletage. Decolletage. But it's a little bit covered with lace, so it's all cute and elegant. Um, you have a waistband that expands quite a bit, so this actually is going to fit quite a big range of sizes. You can also add a belt here at the waistband. And one of my favorite details of this item is this cut that it has at the back of the neck. I think it's super cute, super elegant, super princessy. If you wore your hair up like that and you can see the cut behind, it will probably be super flattering and super beautiful. I just generally love how soft it is, like I cannot imagine wearing this against your naked skin would feel so good. It's not PG, but naked underneath this would be amazing to wear. Um, and next time that Disney opens, I think this would be super cute with underwear. <laughs> with underwear. It would be super cute to wear if you want to kind of cosplay Rapunzel from Tangled and still be allowed into Disney because, you know, they don't let you wear princess dresses. Next thing we have is the polar opposite of a princess dress. This is a long, it's a super long velvet dress with a satin collar and satin covered buttons down the waist. And at the waist, it has these little ties that help you cinch it in. I gotta say, this is not normally something that I would wear because it's quite black and I tend to go towards more colorful clothing but I really appreciate how this looks and everybody and their mother told me that I look amazing on this. Um, my boss at a restaurant, I work at a restaurant and my boss, she basically looked at me and she was like, when I saw you in this dress, I just realized 
everything is about proportion. So basically what she was telling me is that I look very, very good on this dress and that it made me look proportionate, made me look tall, it made me look very good. And I owe that to the shoulder pads and the waist and the fact that you can take in the waist a little bit with those strings at the back. So I really, really like this. If you're someone that's more into the goth look or would like to try some more velvety Adams Family type of thing for this winter, I think this is a special and really unique choice. It's a dress actually made in Korea, which we don't have a lot of. Normally our clothing is made in Japan, but this one is made in Korea. So if you want to try something made in Korea that's vintage and very, very soft, very, very velvety, and they're very nice for this winter, I recommend you try this one. Ta -da! This is actually a Japanese male school uniform. This feels so special to me. I know school uniforms are not a special thing. I know they're just like clothing that people wear to school. But as a Spanish person, I never got to wear a uniform when I was growing up because I always went to public school. So for me, school uniforms are like that thing that I always wanted as a kid and I could never have. And I absolutely adore all the details on this. So first, obviously it has this white typical color in Japanese uniforms, but the collar has a clasp, which I didn't know they had and it's soft inside. So it can like, it really stays up and it doesn't bother you. And then all the buttons all the way to the bottom have um, the detail of the sakura flower, the cherry blossom flower. And it has some pockets here and there. Obviously it's a school uniform, so it needs some pockets. It's for kids. <laughs> but inside, what I think is super interesting is that sometimes we say that vintage clothing has a story, right? And with other pieces, sometimes, you know they have a story, you know someone wore it to meet their friends and you know you're wearing, you're almost participating in someone's life by wearing them. But there's some pieces that feel more, feel like that more than others and this is one of those pieces to me this is really a piece of history if you will like this is really part of someone's life on the inside here you can even see the guy's name it's such a special piece I almost want to part with it I know any of you if any of you gets it it will be in good hands I'm sure but it just feels so special like a memento of somebody else's life finally the last thing I got for myself is this you've been looking at it through the whole video and you didn't even know <laughs> i saw this apron right before leaving the store it's an authentic vintage rilakkuma apron and i have to say this checks every single box for me it checks every single box beautiful pastel yellow check cute characters check japanese vintage check amazing details like this super cute buttons the pocket here and the fabric in the pocket, the intricate way that the fabric is woven with this checkered pattern. Check, check, everything is checked here. The size is perfect for me. I have been getting into candle making lately. So this is a perfect um, type of apron for when I work on candles to protect my clothing, to make sure I don't get anything dirty. I know that there is quite a bit of items like this when we go to thrift stores, sometimes we see them. I really love this one. If you guys really like this type of items, I can keep an eye for them next time and I can put them up in our store so some of you can also get some super cute Rilakkuma vintage Japanese aprons. And this is all. So if you watched until here, thank you. Um, subscribe if you like this type of content. It will definitely keep coming. Since I have a store, I will keep updating you guys with the new pieces that we find and new things that I get for myself. And if you fell in love with any of the items I showed you today or you want to check out all the other items available at our store, just head down to the description. I will put the link. I'll maybe put the link somewhere here up the screen so you can go and check out our store. We sell through Depop and we sell through Instagram. And with that being said, thank you for watching the video. Um, thank you for staying until here. I guess I will see you next time. Bye!